Hey guys, Sandy here. Today we're going to have a little look at the drop shot. Now this is a big issue because we're seeing it more and more in the professional game and a lot of players that are coming from the tennis background are using it in the wrong ways. So hopefully this video will correct a few of those for you. We don't often do this in our videos but we're going to start with the most common problems. The drop shot is already quite a risky shot and we want to really minimize that in a game so we're not going to make a mistake with it. So if you're further back than the second post you're too far back to play a drop shot. Please do not consider playing a drop shot from the back of the court. Even if it's an amazing drop shot, you give your opponents way too much time to come up and take advantage. And plus, most of the time, while you're at the back, they will probably be at net. Again, the same with the volley. If you're too far back, and you're by that second post, and you go for a drop shot, unless they're really pushed against the glass, they're gonna be able to come forward and take that drop shot. So that leads us on to the next part, which is where the previous ball went. If you've hit a good shot into the corner and you can see your opponents backing onto the glass, then that is the right time to play a drop shot. Another common problem is players going for a drop shot on the wrong type of ball that's coming to them. So for example, if the ball is coming too high, let's say above chest height, it's very difficult to hit a drop shot from up here, partly because they're so far from their center of gravity and it's difficult to get underneath the ball. And even if they do, the contact is quite high, so it gives the opponent time to read that drop shot and come forward. The best height to hit the drop shot is between chest height and knee height. From this position, it's much easier for you to have control to come underneath that ball and to hit a touch shot. The same problem is if it's ankle height. If it's ankle height, again, you're, you're too low and you've got to hit up and then down, bringing the ball back to the net, and it's too difficult and too risky to play in a game. Another factor to consider is the speed of that ball. You don't want it coming too fast or too slow. If it's too fast, it's difficult to reduce the speed greatly and hit a soft shot, and if it's too slow, then your opponents have time to get off the back glass and come further up the court, therefore giving them a greater chance to get to your drop shot. So you want to do it off a medium speed ball. So to recap, you don't want to hit a drop shot if you're too far back in the court, anywhere past the second post, and really you're a bit too far back. You ideally want to force your opponents against that back glass by hitting a nice good volley or a good bandeka into the corner, forcing them to the back and then you can open up the front part of that court. You ideally want to hit it on a medium speed ball that's between chest and knee height. And when you're looking for the target, you really want to bounce it at a slight angle so that the second bounce is either gonna to touch the fence or it's gonna hit the ground near where the fence contacts the ground so that it's difficult for your opponent to pick up. I hope you found this video useful and you're gonna win lots of points in your matches with your drop shot. Please like the video, subscribe, and write any comments or questions you have down below, and I'll see you on the next video.